So this is an update number two. The hot hot fire. So everything is boiling over. I am still at boiling and evaporating water from the pot where I had sheep fleece, literally entire sheep fleece, uh, for the last two days. I've removed wool now, and this is the wool. You've asked me a million times, would it felt? No, it does not. So this is the wool, it was boiled at least for seven hours, and it did not felt. It has some color to it, uh, left from lanolin and whatever else, like poop, what was in the wool. So, if it is washed clean, you still can use it for spinning, carding, felting, or other activities. So I've got a bucket full of this not felted fleece. As you can see, it comes apart easily, no problem at all. So it does not felt when boiled. I will put my pot back and I'll show you how it looks now. Because it looks really great. You can see that the skin already started to come up on the surface. And a little bit longer, an entire sink will be boiled through. So it's very, very hot everything here. So I'm using this. I don't know what is that actually? What do you call it in UK? So the pot is not steaming. So I'll just show you how it looks. So there is some skin forming and that is what left of about 20 liters of water so i will just put it back and i'll keep boiling and we will see how much it left from beltex fleece from beltex wool so the fleece is here and there on the table and yeah as i say I will update you when it is ready but it looks okay at the moment um, I did skim some lanolin in the very beginning so it was like I don't know it's like a film was covering the top of the water it swam up but still a lot of it was remaining in the fleece in the water so I boiled or boiled and boiled then I removed the fleece I squished all the water out then I rinsed it with warm water to get as much as possible back into the pot and now I'm evaporating and as I say I'll let you know how it goes if it is enough to do something decent with it I'll probably make a cream there you go that's how it looks when on the fire